Hey everyone! This weekend we visited two flea markets. The first one has been outside and had some additional sale stands inside a hall. And the second flea market has just been inside a hall. Ja, das kann man euch. Morgen. Morgen. Wie viel möchten Sie denn dafür haben? Für das Nana Surprise 25 ja. Euro. Darf ich mir das mal angucken? Selbstverständlich. Also 25 Euro. 23 würden Sie nicht machen? Ja, okay. 23 Euro. Auf, legt man die auf den Boden und dann fängt man das Gestänge aufzubauen. Sonst wird das nicht. Morgen. Morgen. Wie viel möchtet ihr denn dafür, denn dieses Stofftier, dieses Orange nicht? 10 Euro ist für meinen Sohn. Ich habe hier nur für die großen okay. Sachen, dass ich Aufträge. Okay, danke schön. Alles für die Retro-Sachen, ne? Ja. Tatsächlich. Ja. Kannst du auch Geld machen, hallo? So. Bist du als Goldanlage, oder? Wie viel möchten Sie dafür? Guten Morgen. Morgen. Wie viel möchtet ihr denn für einen Manga? Manga, das ist deine Sache, ne? Äh, ja. Die beiden? Drei. Drei können wir machen. Mhm. Wie viel für die Figur? Zehner. Mhm. Mhm. 
Willst du die Fünf abgeben? Sieben. Okay. Sechs. Okay. Hallo. Emma, zwei Euro. Danke schön. Ja, danke auch. At the second flea market, you had to pay admission. It was two euro for an adult, one euro fifty if you have a disability, or one euro if you were a child. Das euer Stand? <lacht> Wie viel möchten Sie dafür? Morgen. Morgen. Wie viel möchten Sie denn dafür haben? 5 Euro. Tatsächlich? Oh, okay. Das ist aber nett. <lacht> Wie viel möchten Sie dafür? 2,50 Euro. Ah, back at home. Two flea markets in a row are kind of stressful, <laughs> but I made it back and I got some really nice purchases. Starting with this huge Na 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 Surprise backpack set. This set seems to be brand new. It was promised that just the packaging is a little bit damaged. As you can see, the tapes are cut open and there are some indents here and there and some of the plastic window has been splintered. 
At first, I thought that there are several parts missing, but assuming to some YouTubers who unboxed these, there is supposed to be nothing in there except for the instruction manual. Well, three of them. <laughs> Nevertheless, I think this doll and the set are very adorable. I like the tiny little bear heads on her shoes the most. My next purchases were these manga books. Two from Battle Angel Alita and two from Wolf Girl and Black Prince. Sometimes there are even bookmarks hidden in secondhand books, so also this time. The condition of the Battle Angel Alita books is a little bit used, but that is understandable um, considering how old these mangas are. But Wolf Girl and Black Prince seem to be as good as new. The next thing I got is this children's picture book. I collect those that appeal visually to me, um, as well as some that have a very underrated story to tell, even for adults. So this one might not be a literal masterpiece, but it is from one of my favorite children's books publisher, Nord Süd Verlag, which is known for releasing well-written children's book stories in Germany. And for just one euro, I took it with me. This one is from 1989 though, and there is even a dedication in it, which doesn't bother me at all. Um, it gives it some personality, I think. The next things are two video games. Lord of the Rings is a game my boyfriend purchased for himself and I got Ninu Kuni for the Switch. The seller sold both of them together for 30 euro. Ninu Kuni is said to be a Pokemon-like game from the Studio Ghibli creators, so I'm very excited to play this one. I just need to give it a good clean first. And yeah, that's what I got from the first flea market. Um, the first thing I got from the second one was this puppy surprised stuffed animal. Um, this is a children's toy from the 90s. You can open up the stomach of the big dog plush, which contains a little pouch that is closed up by a velcro. And in this pouch, you are supposed to hide several tiny puppies. <laughs> Most of the time the collar is missing, but this one got it still. And these are the puppies. I must say that it is very uncommon to find all of this in such a good condition and with all the puppies around, so I was lucky. Next I got this Clio Denial Monster High doll. As far as I know, she is from the first wave and she comes with most of her accessories. There are several parts missing like her handbag, her pet snail and some other stuff, but for 2 euro 50 I really don't mind that at all. Her hair is also in a pretty nice condition. This thing is from Power Rangers. It is called Pirantes Head. I'm not a Power Rangers fan at all, but it looked so funny that I couldn't resist to take it home with me. Unfortunately, its ear got cracked. There must have been used a lot of force to make this sturdy plastic break. Well, I didn't see that until I got home. Yeah, poor thing. <laughs> and now to the last thing I got from this flea market. It is this tiny Pikachu plush pouch. It has a zipper all around it, so you can open it up to store something inside, but you can also flip it inside out to turn it into a Pokeball. So you could pretend that Pikachu returned it to its Pokeball. <laughs> this is so cute. I got it for free out of a rummage box. And yeah, that's all I got this time. And that's it for this video. I hope you like what you've seen and till the next one.